Hi guys, this is the advisor and welcome back to my channel. Now, before I get into the main video, there is something I need to say. It's more like a public announcement. Guys, we evil, you know, we in Jamaica, we turn bad. We really turn bad. Now, here, here, here is the situation. There's a good Samaritan in Canada, right? She has some family members, friends of the, her family who lives in Jamaica. Now, one of the one of the person that she know out here, a young lady who is just start working and I get her first job and you know trying to make her way in life. But her father died suddenly. Right? And since when her father died and the lady in Canada heard, she said, Alright, yeah, my friend, I can't help you out for the funeral per se. But here is what. You're going to need to be making a whole lot of phone calls here and there and Ray and so forth and so forth. So here what I can do. I can send you some credit so you can get to together, um, call the police and get things with, with the funeral parlor and with every other agency that you need to and get around that way. So I'm going to send you some credit. She sent off, I don't know what the Jamaica, what the Canadian equivalent was, but $5,871 supposed to have come to the phone in Jamaica. When they realized the mistake, they said, all right, they're going to see if they can rectify it. They called the, the company that they that did the transaction over in Canada, but they said they couldn't do anything because the credit is already gone, so they have to try and work it out with the person to whom it was sent. So the lady in Canada now, she called the number and somebody answered. And she said, she explained to her what the situation is on your phone. Here's what I want you to do. Take a thousand five hundred and just send the rest to, onto the number. And she gave her the correct number to send the balance to. The person said, okay, yes, I'm going to send it off. No problem. I'll just take a thousand five and I'll just send on the rest. They waited and waited and waited. Wait about an hour. Try to see if they... Call had come if, if the credit had been returned. They didn't see it, so they called back. Brethren, them could have called from now till thy kingdom come. From the 7th of January this year at 11.52 until now, that credit cannot return. The person shut down the number immediately after the phone call was made. Obviously transferred the number to somebody else and maybe threw away that chip. So anybody who know this number, 876 885 that person is a real crowbeat. What do you think about this, Sylvia? Why you do it, John Crow? Yeah, my mother asked the same question to ask it again, Sylvia. Why you do it, John Crow? Yeah. Anyway, let's move on now to the topic of the day. Guys, since putting out the last video, yesterday morning, a flurry of calls have come in to me from Red Ground in um, Hanover. A number of persons who know these people have called in and have clarified a number of things. And I feel it is my public duty it is my duty to make these details public. Well, it, the way it turns out, the Shane, Shane Grandison and his family, and the Tupac and his family, are much, much closer than anybody would have thought. How it turns out is that Tupac was actually the enforcer for the Grandison family. He was like their private security go-to guy. Remember, you know, the Grandison family is influential and they have money and they have several businesses. Now, Tupac is the one who would go around if anybody who, anybody in the Grandison family, Tupac is the one who would go around and collect. So if, they, if people would like take the bus and do an excursion or so, and they make a deposit and didn't come back with the money. Or they rented out a vehicle and a person tried to run off with, with the money or don't turn up or what. 
it was Tupac who had the job to go find the person and deal with them. Either bag them or just shake them down and get whatever money supposed to come to the Grandisons. Not only that, Tupac has gotten one of the Grandisons them pregnant. I can't say what whether it was a girl or a boy at this time. That wasn't clear. But the, it was stink in the community that he had gotten a certain member of that family pregnant. But in order to protect the child, I will not say which one. Also, I heard that one of Tupac's sister was the girlfriend of Shane. Not only that, that they were supposed to have gotten engaged in November. That's November last year. Last year, 2023. So, it is extremely clear that the connection between these two families was also by blood. Since the blood from the Grandison family was mixing with the blood of Tupac's family. So her coming out and say that um, <laughs> this son being in the car with Tupac was just a, a coincidence. It's just misadventure. No, them are bosom buddies. However, it is clear to me that had the police known that Shane was in the car, they would not have sh sh shot, shot it up. Because they knew that this man, Tupac, it was long run and short catch. They were all going to be there and they would have caught him another time. But... Here is one extremely important point to note. Just two or three weeks prior to being killed, Shane's private firearms license had been granted. He was just waiting to pick up the identification card and go and collect the weapon. Now, with the link between Shane and Tupac, what do you think was going to happen? Crime would have turned up even worse in a Hanover. And I tell you why. As a licensed firearm holder, you are entitled to purchase 200 rounds per year. This, stand, this, is based on, uh, this, is, this standard is based on the fact that you may go to range several times a year. And every time you go to range, you may fire about 50 rounds. So if you go to range two times a year, you may fire a hundred rounds. Or you may go once a year and fire the whole hundred and fifty rounds. Because you normally keep back fifty rounds for your personal protection. Now, if Shane was entitled to two hundred rounds a year. You think he was going to keep all those rounds to himself and don't get two pack none? Me sure say every year he was going to split it in a two. 50 to fire on the range, 50 to keep for his personal protection, and 100 at least would have gone to Tupac. So clearly we can see that the link between decent, quote-unquote, decent people and criminality is extremely deep. From politicians to policemen to preachers, to priests, to judges, everybody mixed up in it. But this makes me believe more now that the police did the right thing and what happened that day was just the chickens coming home to roost. So, as far as I'm concerned, the death of these two men could never have happened at a better time. And let me tell you now why not not going to come out of this case. You see how much months now this happened? And not, no police has been arrested. I hear from good source that this case is closed. Even in the come tired and the dirty cries like them. Tell me something now. When last police um, in the come has arrested a policeman for, for um, excessive force? The last case I remember, although the, I could be wrong, there might be more, but it was August of um, 2021. The people at Indicom realize that they have to live here too. That if the police don't get to do them work, their lives are also in danger. 
basically, you know, in the commas close this case. Based on what I'm hearing, this case is closed. Now, if in the come have already pronounced that this was a justifiable homicide, there is nothing that you you will have no justification to bring and, and, and no grounds rather on which to bring a case from un, unlawful death. So lady, don't bother with it. Just give it a rest. Use this incident, use this incident as a watershed moment in your life. Use it as a way to reflect on the mistakes you have made and how these mistakes have cost your son's life. Own up to what you had done and the role you played in your son being killed and then just move on. Because if you don't do that, the lessons to be learned would have missed you and your son's life would have been in vain. If anybody think I'm wrong, then leave a comment um, in the comment section and let me know. Guys, thank you for watching. Like, share, leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.